Hello everyone, how are we? Uh, today we're going to be doing a spring outfit haul, which this is my first ever haul because I don't let myself get this much clothes, but a lot of things were on sale and I could afford it because I saved up for it, so I'm excited. Um, I got things from Forever 21, <laughs> Princess Polly, Dolls Kill, ASOS, I think that's it. I think that's it. So I'm excited to show you what I got and how my style is evolving. Let's go. <laughs> These are the cream colored corduroy pants that I got. I have a really hard time with pants, so hopefully these will start these will start fitting. <laughs> these will fit. And I got this really pretty dress. I don't typically wear these kind of things, but I am slowly starting to figure out my style. Um, honestly, I thought these flowers are going to be a little bit more pink, <clears throat> but I am totally okay with the color right now because it's like a brown cream with gold and red or pink accents. Let's see what this looks like. It has those little frillies. Something just fell out. Um, this is the color of the flowers. Hopefully it's focusing because I don't have one of those fancy cameras. Well, yeah, but not video cameras, you know. You know. So, can't wait to try this on. Let's just make sure it's adjusted. <clears throat> Corduroy pants. Ooh, they're stretchy. I like that they have the stretchy bands. I can't stand jean material. It does not stretch. It does not feel right. I do not like it. But let's hope they fit. So these are what they look like on. They're pretty comfortable. Um, they fit nice. I'll probably cuff them because that's what I like to do. Uh, only complaint is that when I sit down, they slide down, the back slides down about an inch. And I have sensitivity problems, I ain't gonna lie. So that's when I get on my nerves, but other than that, I really like these. I love it. It's super cute and flowy. Um, complaint, super short. I'm gonna have to wear shorts with them because it's like girls, girls with pair butts, pair butts. Girls with pair bodies have thick hips, meaning our dresses right up and result in us needing to wear shorts or leggings underneath our dresses and then when I lean over it doesn't give me too much room but I don't know when I'm going to be doing this but other than that I think it's adorable <laughs> alright so my ASOS ASOS package came in so it's time to open that one which today has been rough. <laughs> uh, quarantine is mentally draining me and it's nice to get something new. And my mushroom package came in, so I'm growing blue oysters and I'm really excited about that. How do I do this? Tear along the line. I don't think I did that right. I totally didn't do that right. <laughs> I accidentally unsealed the stickies. No! Ha. Oh well, I guess. Life happens. So, I got this black button up skirt it's called Design Rib Midi Skirt with button front. Should 
check this out. Ooh, it's like a uh, long john texture, I think. I think that's what that's called. That's pretty. Ooh, it's see-through. We'll see. We'll see how that works. <laughs> And I was up and ordered this really cute sun, sun, wow, daisy dress. It's called the Influence Shirt Dress with tiered skirt and floral pink print. My brain is not here. I apologize. It's weird buying things from the UK because your sizes are different than the US. But it's fine. I just had to figure that out. Oh, that neck might be a little tight. I feel like I'm gonna get choked, but this is cute. It's a cute little pattern. And stuff that I desperately need is pants because if you saw my last video, I don't know if it's the last video, one of my previous videos, I got rid of a lot of things. <laughs> so I got these mom jean. Yeah, it says mom, that's cute. His mom. That's cute. Anyway, that has an elastic waistband. I'm really, really picky when it comes to my pants because of the body shape. It's just weird and I feel like I need to get my stuff tailored. And what I was just doing there was fixing my nose ring because it likes to do the stupid thing where it like pokes out. But <clears throat> They're cute. I like, I like how the back looks. I know it's nothing really special, but I like how it kind of like looks like a diag diagonal. Yeah. We'll see how that looks. And then something that I never wear, like ever, is shorts. And I thought we should change it up. So I purchased a pair of jean shorts, mom jean cut, <laughs> and they're from Topshop. Let's try these on. Okay, so I love this skirt. I just noticed right now that it's not actually buttoned, it's just buttons sewn on, so that'll help with the... Uh, non-exposure exposure i can't speak but i love how there's like a little slit and it has that effect kind of reminds me of one of the girls off of crybaby with her like slit skirt so i'm digging it <clears throat> okay so i'm super unsure about these because I don't typically wear jean material and if I'm being honest in this I feel like my bottom is being I feel like I'm wearing a jean thong I think that's the best way to put it um, but I like how it looks when I'm standing up. And if I was to tuck in like a t-shirt of some sort with this, I think it'd look really cute. When I sit down, it kind of feels like it's not cutting me in half, but it's like, I don't know. I'm not used to jeans. So this will be a maybe on whether I return this or not. But, they are cute. I just have a severe sensitivity problem for some reason that comes with my specific diabetes. Um, yeah. 
Right, so I'm kind of getting severely upset because <laughs> these are the largest pair that they have. That's supposed to be my size, but they fit really tight. Like, they're so cute and I love them so much, but like, I can't move. Sitting down is impossible, so. Buying jeans and pants for me is a wild ride. So if I end up returning these things, then hopefully I can find a bigger size or a better brand that just fits me better. So at least the dress fits. This is what it looks like. I'm kind of weirded out by how like this puffs out so much, but I like this cute little frilly. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of in a bad mood because my pants are so difficult to find that fit me, so at least I should be happy that I got a new skirt and dress that fits nicely. My Forever 21 stuff came in and I got these cute little socks. They're like a mint green with cute little daisies on them. So I'm excited about that. I ordered a shirt that didn't come because they were out of stock after I ordered it, which doesn't make sense to me, but I guess it's processing and we'll be here later on. But I got a cute little Looney Tunes crop top. I used to watch this when I was a kid. Definitely not going to be drier, be able to go in the dryer, but I like how it looks so far and it seems like it'll be comfy. And I got only shirts and socks from this company because I know their pants are extremely iffy for me. So this shirt is not the texture that I thought it was going to be. I'm actually way more pleased with the texture that it is. I thought it was going to be that plasticky feel, but it's a black puff sleeve crop top. Um, off the shoulder, if I can ever grab it. Off the shoulder. So this is completely different from what I normally wore in the past and what I wear now, but I am again trying to like open up my style. So, let's hope it looks fine. Okay, so this is the crop top, the uh, Looney Tunes one, obviously. Um, it's super comfortable, it's longer than I thought it was going to be. It's like a normal t-shirt, except they cut off maybe two inches from it. So it doesn't show a lot of tummy, and it has the characters on it. Um, it's definitely not going to be machine dryable. Not like this is gonna crack if you dry it but that's kind of how forever 21 clothes can be with their designs and a lot of other clothes if you dry it you'll notice they start cracking but that's just because of the printing um super comfortable the neck is a little up there for my personal preference but i like it okay this is the puff sleeve um these are my bras my bras, my bra straps, not a part of it. But for me, not wearing these kind of clothes, I think this looks super cute, and I think it's something that I want to start wearing. Um, medium kind of fits a little tight, but maybe that's a good thing, so it'll stay up. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to do something with this. Okay, so the last bag of this haul is finally here. It's uh, Friday right now, and it's my doll's kill. And I'm super excited about this one. I didn't get any pants or dresses from this one. It's all tops, which I need, but I need pants more now that I did my closet clean out. <laughs> But it's fine, this is my spring haul. I let myself get clothes because I needed them. 
Um, yes, I am wearing one of the dresses from Princess Polly earlier because I couldn't wait to wear it. So <laughs> let's get started with the, the doll's pounds. Cute little their packaging. I love it. <coughs> Choked on air. I think it would be so fun to design for them because outside of YouTube, I am a graphic designer and videographer and photographer. So I think it would just be so fun. But yeah. <coughs> that really messed me up. Um, let me start with this one, yeah. So this is called the Psychic Center Sheer Blouse. It was the last one they had. I normally wear a medium, so I bought a medium, which is thankfully what they had, but I'm also nervous because their dimensions um, seemed like disproportionate my body. I've been talking a lot about, I've been talking a lot about how I'm shaped. So my chest is bigger than the average combination of chest and rib cage. So I have to get certain types of bras. Um, if there's a fitted corset or something, it's probably not gonna fit me. Um, and the whole bottom thing that I probably said earlier. So pleasantly, it seems it's stretchy. And it's kind of a gothy vibe. It's supposed to be spring clothes, but I could totally wear this in fall. Um, yeah, I'm digging this already. It's a cute little lace. It has frillies in the front, and then it buttons up in the back, which I suck at doing that, but we'll see. <laughs> um, next is the complete opposite vibe. It's Sugar Thrills. Um, where is the opening thing? Oh. So it's completely white, which is really scary for me. And I knew it was going to be this texture. I didn't want this texture, but I wanted the shirt. So it's completely white, which is scary to me because I have very dark bras and <sighs> yeah. I drop a lot of things, but it's an off the shoulder with a tie um, to keep it up. And a stretchy back and puff sleeves. I'm getting real into these puff sleeves, especially after trying the last puff sleeve. I fall, I've fall, i fallen in love. And it has a stretchy back. I can't remember if I already said that, but we'll say it again. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Probably have to iron it because it seems like it'll get wrinkly easily. Next thing I just grabbed is from Poster Girl. It's called the Vin Midnight Brat Pack Lace-Up Tee, which this is also something that I would never used to wear because I like some coverage. <laughs> um, and this does not scream coverage to me because you lace it up, but I'm sure if you tighten it enough, it'll work. And it looks pretty small for a medium, but I'm sure it'll it'll work, hopefully. But I'm excited to try that. It's different. I like I'm trying to do different things than what I'm normally used to. I'm excited about this t-shirt. I'm really excited about this t-shirt. It's a boyfriend tee and it says Desert Wonder. 1992, that's six years after I was born. After, excuse me, how old am I? Before I was born. Um, I liked that this is mainly a cream shirt and I have a lot of black as you guys saw on the last video. If you haven't, go check it out. Um, ooh, this is gonna be wide. This is woof. Maybe I should have gotten a small for once in my life. Who knows? But the design on it 
and the splash of color I love that it's so pretty oh it's soft but we'll see how that looks I'm probably tuck that into a couple t-shirts tie it in a knot we'll see I say we'll see a lot huh because honestly like nothing's for sure so we'll see um ooh. when I bought this I didn't realize that the brand logo had an upside down cross on it and like nothing against anybody's religion do what you want be who you want whatever but I am not that way <laughs> uh i'm not i'm i'm my own kind of christian but i don't really like to uh put that in people's faces so i just kind of keep it to myself but woof Ooh, hopefully this fits oh my okay well what size is this medium hmm it's a shirt cover. It's pretty much just sleeves and it has a very witchy long sleeve. And I'm going to be putting this over a black crop top tank top and we'll see how it looks. All right, so this is the uh, lace up top. I'm wearing a bra underneath it because I need to wear a bra. It's my thing. I I just need to. Um, maybe one day I'll try it without a bra and just let it work. But today is not that day. Um, but other than like it looking different with the bra on, I'm sure I can make it look cute. It's cute already, but I can sure. I can sure. I'm sure I can make it cuter. And it's not as tight as I thought it was going to be. I can definitely feel that my shoulders are poking out a little bit. But other than that, I like it. This is that sleeve thing, if you can't tell. Um, I have a massive complaint. But before I make that complaint, I want to say I absolutely love this. And this is going to be a big piece for me in the fall. It will definitely be cold because it's completely lace, and I should have uh, tied these into bows, but I didn't. Um, there's beautiful witchy long sleeves. I feel like a bat. Um, but if you can see, I only have one button buttoned, and that's not because I can't fit it. It's because as soon as I put the elastic over the button, the bottom two just they don't even pop off, they slid out of their thread. So, everything else about it I'm in love with, but I don't know what that says about the threading quality in the buttons, but thankfully I have the basic skill, like sewing skill, to put the buttons back on. Um, so, if you don't, and if you aren't going to learn, I would not suggest getting it if you're too scared about the buttons popping off um, or you can try I mean not every not every every single one probably isn't exactly the same I could have gotten just one that was loose but other than the buttons I absolutely love this okay here is the other fall-esque piece that I got sheer it has like an old style button up sleeve and then it puffs out there's frillies and lace everywhere so it looks pretty vintage even if it's new and it has the same buttons on the back i absolutely love this when i first put it on it was pretty tight in the lace area and I don't know if this happens to anybody else, <laughs> but when you put things on that's your size, but there's like some spots that are a little too tight, sometimes it just like cracks. Um, that happened once I decided to move, and it seems like it's perfectly fine now, and nothing 
loosened or like got broken, ruined or anything. So I love this piece. I again love how it looks super vintage and it's just unique and I think that's why I love it so much. So another thumbs up. Okay, so if this is something that I am going to keep, it's something I'm going to have to get used to. Um, I might try to see about tying these a different way. And there's like a weird open bubble right here. But it seems cute and it has the cute little bubble sleeves. And it's different than what I normally wear. I wonder if I put on a different type of bra or no bra or, again, tied it in a different way. We'll play with it. But so far, I think I'm going, I'll keep it anyway, even if I don't end up wearing it constantly, because this would be a really good Renaissance Festival shirt. And that right there is my crap. I love it so much. So, last shirt, let's go. Well, this shirt looked really big off of me, but it actually fits really well. It's just really long. Um, I love it still just as much as I did when I first opened it and when I saw it on the store, maybe more than I saw it on the store, and it's super comfortable. It's super soft. I like the length of the sleeves. I'm very happy with how this turned out. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure as much as I did. I totally recommend all of these stores. I shop from them when I can. Uh, quality clothes, super comfortable. And there's multiple different styles on each of these companies' websites and stores. And it's fun to explore. And I obviously got out of my style comfort zone and I fell in love. So I hope you do the same and stay tuned for next week for the next video. Have a good night, good evening, or good morning. Bye.